Hi, hey, how you doing there? My name is John Bridges, and I purchased this new CM40 mount. And it's uh, an awesome mount, all kind of cool features with it, I'm sure you guys all know. But uh, one thing about these CEM mounts is whenever you balance them side to side, and you have them up and down like this, it will have a tendency to rotate this way. So what I've done is I've devised this little gadget, which just a couple fender washers and a 3 8 coil rod and this little clamp here that I got. And I'll tie this clamp onto the bar and you have to angle it this way or that way in order for it to balance itself out. So you can see how this thing's nice and balanced, how it is. And you can see how once it's there, it kind of just sits there. Well, if I were to take this dude off, then what it, would, what it would do is it would start swinging this way by itself, even with it being balanced and everything. So uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Basically, it's just finding a, a clamp that you can get. At, I got this one at Home Depot. It's a uh, electrical pipe clamp, and uh, and it fits this uh, rod right here, which is a three-quarter inch rod. And uh, basically you have to do on this one in particular, what I've done is I've just taped up the fender washers, that way they stay together. And then these washers right here are the thicker, bigger washers that fit, I think about three quarter inch themselves. Uh, then I got some smaller washers and put that on. And then uh, that way I could put these double lock washers on, or nuts right here on. And make it go this way and that way is how you want to kind of just play with it a little bit to find that sweet spot where it doesn't move, right? So, um, yeah. I had a CEM 60 that uh, that I did a video on, and I was asking a question about this, and I didn't understand what what, what could be done about it because it does the same thing. I figured that one out. Um, I just haven't posted a video for it, so I'm going to ahead and post this video, and that way you guys have an understanding of what I did to make this happen. There's also a, um, a fastener clamp that you can use that I saw, and I actually ordered this. It's about 13 bucks, and um, or 10 dollars or 13 dollars on Amazon, and it's for photography equipment, and it's just a clamp that you would put on just like this. And it has a ratchet on it, and it has another uh, hole for a 3 8 rod to go into it. And basically, it'd be the same thing, probably a lot simpler to do than the one I have, because on this one, I got this really naughty looking nut that's on here that you got to use a crescent wrench or something to kind of tighten it down just to get a good lock. Uh, the other one has a twist lock mechanism with a little bar on it, so um, it's easier to get a better uh, tension. On your bar. This whole getup right here is like 20 bucks for for the little coil rod. I got a uh, one. It's like an 18 inch coil rod because I didn't know how long I needed. But I got a lot of basically a box of these wa fender washers. I was like 11 dollars for all these washers. I just stacked them all together and just to make sure I had enough weight. And it was plenty of weight. Uh, I could have probably got less and then angled it more this way. But so, you give me more weight. let me uh, show you. So, so this is what I got, and all it is is you have your three three eighths coil rod, some uh, some nuts to go with it, your fender washers, and you can see those other type of fin uh, washers right here that fit the three eighths. And this guy is why it's I, I was going to take it off and show you, but if you're having this problem, you already know what I'm talking about. So I don't need to show you that. Um, but yeah, and I just wrapped some tape on it just to kind of protect the bar a little bit um, from scuffing up. I had already scuffed it up a little bit. It does, with this particular lock or clamp, it does scuff it up a little bit. So you might want to find something to prevent that, see? So yeah, all in all, lovely rig, very fun. This is what I get going. So I got a 60 meter, gu 60 millimeter guide scope, uh, the ASIR Pro, which is awesome. Um, 
and a little 120 millimeter on the back of that guy and that's just there to protect it and it's a 183 MC Pro yeah that's it guys uh, thanks alright guys so this is the clamp I'm talking about um, this one right here is just a clamp uh, the one I was referring to had a attachment to it but this is uh, about nine bucks and it's got a section for three eighths um, all thread go in through there and um, you stick the all thread through the 3 8 section and get you some uh, washers and nuts um, like I was describing earlier and fasten all that stuff together and uh, there you go just put this clamp on the bar and tighten her down and you can rotate it along the bar to adjust your counterweight and by the way, when you put the nuts on, um, you want to get two nuts on either side of the washers. That way you kind of have a double lock nut or a double nut there to lock those nuts in place. It, it helps. All right, guys, so this is what I did to solve the issue I was having. It seems to be a pretty common deal with the CEM type mounts, uh, the 40 and the 60. So if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. So if this helped you guys out, uh, smash the like button for me and I'll see you then. Bye.